All right, from 2021, I have Universal Studios, A Legacy of Horror. Hardcover on this. There is Frankie on the back. Ugh, let's see this cover. I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. No, it's dog shit. But, we have an index to run off. Ooh, nice. Let's see alphabetical shit. Everything in here to 2021. And speaking of famous monsters of film land, I actually have a Ghostbusters lanyard from that. Nah. I got it off eBay ages ago. It was really cool. Well, at least the index is small. That's a relief. Most of the ones are usually a lot fucking longer. So, yeah. 270 pages about monsters. Pretty cool. Yeah, I saw this when I was looking for stuff to cover on the channel. I figured, you yeah, fuck it. They are iconic, and I've never really covered anything else like this. So, here we are. And I have not looked at this, so I have no idea what's in this, but judging from the art in the back, that's pretty cool, too. Uh, built stages. Gotta love it. And it's wild, too, because you look back, and everything was so cheap then. And you didn't have to worry about massive special effects. You just had costumes that stood the test of time. And all these monsters set the stage for what's out now. You can trace, it's easy to trace them all back. It's so simple. Without Godzilla, without these, Godzilla Kong wouldn't exist. Without all these, all these different method characters, you would not have your more layered beasties. Huh? Crazy. So what is this book about? Well, it's about Universal Studios Monsters. Duh. And everything they've done. Movies, all that jazz, and their influence on pop culture. So, Lucy. Look at that, they're talking to Frankie so he doesn't have a breakdown. Uh. Oh, it's Monster Squad. Yep. <laughs> nice. Love Monster Squad. Vastly underrated. And also without these films, special effects, well no, makeup effects, wouldn't be as dramatic as they are today. So yeah, it's important to uh, pay homage to these amazing trailblazers. Mm. It is impressive. I do like this kind of shit. It's fun. Pages feel good. Text to backgrounds, awesome. Ah, my ear itches. <laughs> but if you don't like monsters, you're too easily scared because you're a chicken shit. This is not a book for you. Look at that. He even set his damn house on fire. That's how you do a barbecue, folks. See, you bring your dead lover and you set the shit on fire. Follow me for more tips. <laughs> I 
Yeah. I feel bad for the mummy, though. He would not survive 2020. Nah. <laughs> Poor TP be gone. Oh, the Invisible Man. Nice. The Invisible Woman. <gasps> what? Don't let men see that. This is a neat book. I like it. Don't need it, though. Yeah. Who's my favorite monster? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't really have a favorite monster. Nope. I really don't. But if I had to pick out of this book... Oh, uh, I guess... Dracula or... Uh, mm, Frankenstein. At least the pages are cooperating, for the most part. <laughs> Men, what's stopping you from looking like this? <laughs> Abbott and Costello. <laughs> I know about Abbott and Costello, I just never really got into any of this, honestly. Oh, that's cool. Man, this has been a cool book. This is a very cool book so far. And we're almost done. That's the best part. And most of these people are all dead now. Yep. I'm glad they stuck with a black and white background, that's for sure. That's cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't care for that fucking movie. I never watched it. Because I found out what the hell it's about. I'm like, that's so stupid and gay. I'm like, mm, no thanks, I'm good. Ooh, I like the room. That's cool shit. Oh, mummy. Nice. But I don't think they'll ever make a good monster movie again. Which is kind of sad because, I don't know. Oh, that's it? Aw, that's disappointing. I thought they would have had more posters and shit. I don't know. So, on to the next.